Oh, hello. Today I'm gonna to tell you about three physics concepts that might change the way that you approach playing tennis. Let's jump in. Concept number one, objects of unequal mass fall at the same rate. Even though this ball is considerably lighter than my racket, the racket, the ball, and my body all follow the same rate of acceleration. If I allow my racket to fall into the ball at the right time, I can coordinate a stroke with a minimum of interference from my muscles. Now this only works if you're very relaxed. If you rely on muscular effort to time your stroke, you're going to always be struggling against the force of gravity and your own momentum. Instead, by learning how to allow the racket to just freely fall, you get into a natural synchronization with the bounce of the ball. Concept number two. The linear velocity of an object does not impact the gravitational constant. Now that sounds a little bit like a mouthful, but let me explain what I mean. If I were to take this ball and just toss it straight up, gravity is going to exert a constant acceleration as it travels up and then eventually pull it back down to the ground. Now if I were to take that same ball and I were to hit it over the net, even though it's traveling at a considerable speed across the net, that rate of rise and fall isn't going to change. Essentially what it means is that the bounce of the ball is a far more effective means of coordinating your own movements than the general speed that the ball happens to be traveling. If you think about it, there's not a single shot that you'll hit in tennis that'll have the exact same overall speed, but every single shot will behave according to that same gravitational constant. Concept number three, the pendulum constant. The pendulum constant states that any pendulum of a fixed length will take the same amount of time to complete one period length, that's one cycle forward and back, regardless of how high it's dropped. Now how is that relevant to tennis? It has to do with swing length. If I stay relaxed and allow gravity to initiate my swing, my arm and my shoulder naturally create a form of pendulum. This means that I can use the same form of rhythmic timing for a mini tennis stroke or for a baseline stroke or even during a match. Understanding this concept along with concept number two, I'll use the ball's bounce and not its overall velocity to create my timing and then I'll use a smaller swing while maintaining the same basic rhythmic consistency and timing as I would from the baseline. This allows me to have a much more effective mini tennis warm up. Far too often I see people using a lot of muscle bound effort trying to decelerate their racket from an excessively big swing in order to control the ball when they're playing mini tennis. However, if you're able to short Shorten your swing length, maintain a relaxed feel, and maintain that sense of pulsing with the gravitational bounce of the ball, you're able to maintain a consistency of technique, timing, and form as you gradually get a little bit bigger with your stroke, move a little bit further back, and so on. So that's it, the three physics concepts that might change the way that you approach the game. If this video was helpful for you, hit that like button, and if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Feel free, of course, to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to respond. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.